Kebabs. Kebabs. Shish kebabs. With the mushroom. The shish. The shish. And a nice... Shroom kebabs. Nice flavor. <laughs> flavor. Flavor. <laughs> guys, it's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to the second recipe for our um, welcome to summer barbecue Long kickoff. Long weekend barbecues, little mini series type thing. Yeah. May 2-4. For summer. more than half our audience, they do not know what that is. Long weekend, barbecue season, summer. Yeah. That's Alrighty. what we're making food for. Yeah, and the weekend is clearly almost over. It is Sunday, but it's a long weekend, which means tomorrow is off. So we thought we'd still want to do the barbecue-y thing, but let's do something that you can do really quickly, yes. and like you probably have this stuff already in your fridge. Mm -hmm. And if not, you can just run out quickly and grab it. Like it's really simple ingredients, really simple recipe. It took maybe like what? Yeah, not a lot. Twenty minutes. No. So Twenty easy. minutes from like start to finish. Yeah. And it's really, really delicious. Mm-hmm. And of course, it goes on the barbecue. Okay, so what is it? We made really simple soy glazed mushroom kebabs. Oh, we eat. Kebabs. Kebabs. Shish kebabs. With the mushroom. The shish. The shish. And a nice shroom kebabs. Nice flavor. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're actually really simple and they pack like a really good punch. And I love the mushrooms because they absorb so much of the flavor. Yes. And mushrooms can give you that like meaty consistency mm -hmm. if you want something along the exactly. lines. Okay, so let's go make them. Yeah. To make your mushroom kebabs, we want about two to three cups of mushrooms, depending on how many people you're serving. Um, and then we're just going to slice those mushrooms in half and add them to a bowl. For our mushroom marinade, what we need is one lime juiced mixed with three tablespoons of sesame oil, along with two tablespoons of fresh basil, chopped up really fine, and two tablespoons of fresh oregano, chopped up very fine, one tablespoon of maple syrup, two tablespoons of soy sauce, then you're going to finely mince one clove of garlic, add that to your dressing as well, a teaspoon of onion powder, and some salt and pepper. Mix that all together and then just pour that over your mushrooms and kind of toss them to make sure that it's coated everywhere. And just set them aside for about five to 10 minutes just so they can absorb all those delicious flavors. Um, to prep your skewers, if you're using wood skewers like we are, you're gonna to wanna to soak them in water to avoid any burning. This doesn't stop them from burning for the most part. Uh, this just helps prevent it for all from burning right away. So you wanna soak them for at least as long as you're marinating your mushrooms for. Once your mushrooms have finished marinating, you just add about four to five mushrooms to, a, to your skewer and barbecue them for about 10 minutes each side or until you see that the mushrooms are kind of getting soft and wilted and they have those delicious grill lines on them. And then you're done. Super, super easy to make, and they pack so much flavor into mm -hmm. them. Should we eat them? Yes, they look so good. We've already been eating them. I know. Mm. And honestly, anyone's gonna like these. Mm -hmm. mm. I love mushrooms. So juicy, but mm -hmm. the juiciness is like, it soaked up that marinade yeah. so well. Oh my gosh. And like, it's not like you're bringing this, like if it's a potluck, you're not like bringing this weird vegan meat. Like you're bringing mushrooms marinade. Everyone will love these. They are so good. Mm -hmm. There's so much flavor in that, it's crazy. Again, the fresh herbs, like... Summer. Magical. That's what summer's about. Being fresh. Yeah. I feel like our channel and our videos have such a different vibe when it's summer recipes. We're mm. like, mmm, fresh. Like we're happy. Because <laughs> it's not winter anymore. I love winter. I don't, I don't care what you say, but that snowstorm in April was hilarious. I wasn't laughing. Delicious. Like, again, takes 20 minutes to make. Pretty, pretty simple. 
you can prepare them the night before, marinating mm. in the night before. Mushrooms absorb so much. Mm. They pack so much flavor in them. And then if you're going somewhere, bring them there and barbecue them there because then they're fresh for everybody. Yeah, you can easily make a so lot. Good. Oh, so easy. And they're so cheap to make because it's mushrooms. Yeah. You can always add more to this mm -hmm. dish too, right? I feel like tomatoes would be awesome to add to it because I, I love barbecue cherry tomatoes because oh, they like yeah. burst and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, they're so good. That's fun. Um, and also our salad that we made last week was amazing with these because we've been eating them all day today. <laughs> Make them both and enjoy this magical summer kickoff. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't want to do the kebabs, you could do portobellos, which we talked about, marinating whole portobellos. So it's kind of like more of a steak yeah. than anything. It'd be so good. <laughs> Mushrooms, man. Mushrooms are our favorite things, if you couldn't tell. Mushrooms, man. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I think this, if you make these recipes, I think it'd be a pretty damn successful May 2-4 or any Me long weekend. Too. Or summer in general. Mm -hmm. Like that burger taste test we had before. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. And as you can tell, we're really excited about summer, so we're gonna have really delicious recipes coming your way because summer, obviously, very color. colorful, very flavorful. Expect fresh herbs in just about everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I mean, we also like to get like, I don't know, last year we did that Southern Fried Portobello Burger. I'm looking for us to top that this year. Oh gosh, <laughs> how? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. So something really like deep fried and just junk food. That was just so epic. Yeah. If you guys haven't, like if you're new here, which a lot of you are, <laughs> if you haven't seen that video of the Southern Fried Portobello Burger, go back and watch that video because it is food porn to the max, man. It is so good. Yes. <laughs> we had it for Canada Day last year and it was literally heaven. So damn good. All right, as always, in the description below, you'll find a link to our podcast and our newsletter. And our recipes. And the recipes. <laughs> and other social media. Go follow us there. Talk to us. Come say hello. And remember, if you make any of these recipes, to take a picture, tag us in that picture, because we want to see everybody's recipes. And if you do your own special twist, we want to know, because mm -hmm. we could steal it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, it's so cool to see people kind of put their own twist on it. I agree. I love when people change yeah. it up. Let us know down below what kind of things you guys like for summer, what your go-to potluck or long weekend type food is. Mm -hmm. Right? That's a good question. That is a great question. We didn't ask a question in the last video. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, let us know. We want to know because I'm always looking for something really good to bring to a potluck. And mix it up. Make yeah. it different. You know, like, don't be predictable. Yeah, make it memorable. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're memorable too. Are we? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> That's how you make them. That was so easy. So easy. I'm just double checking that I recorded this. <sighs> yep, we're good. Super. <laughs> One second. Okay. okay. Bada boom, bada bing, <laughs> bing. Friends, cherry vanilla. Garcia, vanilla. What? Who? Something happened. One of the episodes. I can't remember. Okay. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>